Before I start this today, I just want to say I don't have any issue with this developer, Farm51, and the game World War 3. I don't have any issues there, I've not really had any interactions with them there, but the one thing which really pisses me off is people getting insanely overhyped over nothing more than a cinematic trailer. If they want to prove what this game is and they put their money where their mouth is, they need to show us some gameplay, they need to give us some details, and they need to give people some access to actually see where they are and what the hell is going on. Right, so I'm going to have a little bit of a rant right now because, quite honestly, I get pissed off when suddenly hype gets blown up out of nowhere over nothing. And this World War 3 game is one of those things. Now look, I can understand people wanting to get excited about the prospect of seeing some kind of game come along which could be the answer to their hopes and their dreams and it's like, you know, some brand new thing that's like, oh my god, this is perfect, this is just what we needed at this time. Unfortunately, we live in the real world and you need to actually look at things with some logic and understanding and not just shiny, shiny things. Which is why two minute trailers with only a very few seconds of actual gameplay footage are not a good point of reference for how a game is going to be. Better pre-indicators for whether a game is going to be worthwhile are gameplays, testing periods, high detailed lists of information, anything along these lines which is going to give you some kind of clue. Also, how about looking at the developer and thinking like, hey, is this like the first time they've ever tackled a subject like this? Or do they have a long established history of working around these kind of games? So those are the kind of things you should be looking at. So World War 3, yeah, the trailer is nice, it shows lots of shit blowing up, it's got a Battlefield-ish vibe to it, but it's also 99% cinematic. Now, games like Battlefield from EA DICE can get away with that because they have a long-standing, well-established history of doing these kind of games. Farm 51, though, are a small Polish game developer known for their games like 2013's Deadfall Adventures and 2017's Get Even. Remember those games? Nope, me neither, except I did actually play Deadfall Adventures, and whilst it looked graphically okay, and it mechanically played okay, it was a single player experience that basically was just, eh, it, it just didn't do anything for me, and that's why I never made a video about that game. Now, it's five years since then, they've produced Get Even, which basically got pretty mediocre responses across the board. It was getting a lot of 7 out of 10s, people saying it doesn't do anything wrong, but it doesn't do anything right. It was just a very middle-of-the-road uh, FPS horror adventure, really. So based off of producing two games in the last five years that basically have got nothing whatsoever to do with a multiplayer military FPS, doesn't really, you know, establish itself as being likely for a game that's going to be worth your time, your money, or your interest. Not to mention the fact this game is supposed to be coming out in the autumn of 2018. That means, well, it's the end of spring. We've got, like, basically the summer, and then this game is supposed to be coming out. Now, yes, they are a small developer, but small developers can actually produce really high-quality games. Just look at Postscriptum, and Postscriptum are a small team of about eight guys as well. So why would I be, say, excited for Postscriptum, but not excited for this game, World War III? Well, how about the fact that Postscriptum has been ongoing in development for quite some time, and the fact that they have an ongoing regular testing phase of a large group of people that are invested in that, and actually giving continual feedback to the developer, and making sure that they deliver a quality product when it's actually ready for release. World War 3, on the other hand, they've got like the summer to sort their game out before release, and so far, as far as I can see, we haven't seen any gameplay, we don't have any gameplay details, we don't have any mechanical details, we don't have any testing, nobody's seen anything about it whatsoever. So, I cannot understand for even a moment why you would be interested or excited for this trailer beyond your just imagination of hype that somehow this game is going to deliver what it promises. And this game promises a lot. Strong team play, national armed forces, real locations, full body awareness, whatever that means, a versatile customization system, authentic modern combat experience, it's a combined arms experience, a robust ballistic system, advanced armor, lifelike weapons, um, and then they said it's produced in cooperation with military R&D centers and consultants. World War III showing the consequences of battles and a global war campaign on a strategic map coming to Steam Fall 2018. That's a pretty heavy list for a game that has only got the summer to sort itself out and that we have seen zero meaningful gameplay footage of so far. No information at all on basically anything about this or what it's hoping to achieve in real terms. 
So that's basically all I gotta say. My main thing with this is that I just do not understand why people are excited or interested for this. I like to base my excitement and my interest based on some actual real information. And until we see some actual real information about World War 3 and this game, it's all just absolutely meaningless marketing hype. And how many times, what I cannot understand, how many times have you seen cinematic game trailers which fail to deliver? Coming in as a totally unproven developer in a genre like this and showing a trailer which is 99.9% .9 not actual gameplay and doesn't demonstrate how stable the game is, how detailed the environments are, that doesn't highlight anything other than just the mood and ambience that you are aiming for. Yes, it has nice graphics, but do you know what? In the scheme of things, when you look around these days, nice graphics are everywhere. Nice graphics do not make a game. You can't get away like some other studios do with showing this kind of trailer initially because you've got nothing there backing up what you are showing. So if they want to be taken seriously, and I'm very happy to do so, you know, they need to come out with some concrete, solid stats, gameplay, and show how this is going to work. Because if this is a high frame, very infrastructure stable title, good net code, good map design, this will be a great game. But let's see, maybe I will be wrong. Maybe this is going to be an amazing combined arms, you know, modern multiplayer game, which is going to be the answer to everyone's prayers. Maybe this is going to be a game which shocks us all and delivers something that no one could have been expecting, another Battlefield 4 quality title. And at that point, I will put my hands up and say, oh my god, I got it so wrong. So wrong, I could never have imagined that this was going to be the case. Will that be the case? I strongly doubt it. So prove me wrong. Let's see what happens with this. Now tell me your thoughts about this down below guys because quite honestly I get sick to death of seeing people like leap out the window for something which just has no backup, no basis whatsoever and people don't even bother to look at these developers and what games that they've made before or what experience they have in this area. Now the last thing I will say, a little caveat to that, is of course you know development teams change around. You get people leave between projects and new people come in but fundamentally as a studio you need to have some kind of core ongoing basis for the games that you're producing. So I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Tell me what you think about this down below. And yeah, I guess time will tell.